Track 12, Moonlight Shadow. I still want to listen to the, the album Crises in full, uh, but this song was released May 1983. Maggie Riley vocals, number four in the UK charts. Did you know, though, who did the early version of this? That would be Hazel O'Connor, I believe. Oh, you didn't let me down. <laughs> you didn't let me down. Um, yeah, um, I, mean, yeah. I didn't know that. I did not know that until I was this, doing all this research. This was the most commercially successful of yeah, most commercially successful of Mike's 25 UK singles. Um, he obviously started, first album came out in 73. I think he's done about 35 albums to date. That first album, of course, was Tubular Bells. Without Tubular Bells, we wouldn't have had Virgin Records because that just sold um, by the bucket load. Without Virgin Records at that point, we wouldn't have had Now One because Virgin and EMI were the two uh, labels that... Uh, formed together to create the now that's what i call music series so uh, yeah mike oldfield has a lot to be uh, to be thankful for. um maggie riley she never had any hits in the uk as a solo artist right just, i was doing some research and i mean she's from scotland and she recorded various different solo singles which were released in other countries but none of them released in the uk or any hits she did however feature on a number of different uh Work with a number of different artists. So apart didn't from Mike Oldfield, who didn't she have a hit with the uh, B. A. Robertson? I'm not. I'm not knowing that. But didn't she have one like it? Maybe I'm wrong when think guessing that. I could be after after a look at that. You, you can check that. Well, maybe it's not amongst the screen. The notes that I've written down. She recorded with Jack Bruce, um, who was with Cream in the uh, late sixties, early seventies. Nick Mason, Pink Floyd, mentioned him earlier. Sisters of Mercy, Goth Band from Leeds. That's a bit Very random. Different. Yeah, the two that we've seen earlier, Ralph McTell. Uh, again, different and smoky, amongst others. Really? But she appeared on eight different uh, Mike Oldfield albums as well, doing various different tracks. So uh, extensive work as a collaborative artist, but not so successful as a as a solo singer. And she's a great vocalist, and we used to listen to the vocals on it. And uh, they're fabulous. It, well, the, the original version was called Midnight Passion. Here is Moonlight Shadow. <laughs> 